Hello everyone, my name is Steak Sickly, and no, I'm not British, no, I'm not a Mexican, no, I am not Puerto Rican, I am actually Australian. That's my accent, guys. So, hello from the land down under, it's Steak Sickly here, and today I wanted to bring you guys a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary. Now, I don't do much Modern Warfare 3, because honestly, I can't stand the game, but when I do, it's an alright gameplay, guys. So, today I'm playing Domination on Village, it's 6v6, and I go 45 and 1 in this gameplay. No, it's not a Moab gameplay, no, it's not a 100 plus kill gameplay. Today I just wanted to bring you guys a decent gameplay and give you guys a commentary topic that you guys can discuss in the comment section, okay? So first of all, I'd like to thank Thunder for giving me this opportunity to post to his channel. You're an absolute beast and thank you for listening to your subscribers. It really does mean a lot. So today what I wanted to do is talk about is it okay being a slayer in domination, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm going through and destroying these guys with my weapon, not really capturing flags. And people are asking is this okay or not? And a lot of people are saying no, this is not okay. But this is my perception and this is my idea about this, okay guys? And hopefully you guys will understand and you will listen and actually tolerate what I have to say. So first of all, what I'd like to say is that it is okay to have a Slayer in Domination because if you didn't have a Slayer going around, who would get kills, okay? Who would kill an, the enemy team and who would be able to defend the flags? Not many people would, okay? The whole idea of a Slayer, in my opinion, is to get the kill streaks so then you can spawn trap the enemy and you can stop them from capturing any flags whatsoever. And that's the style that I choose to play because I have fast reactions, I can kill people, okay? And just one second, guys. Be right back. Host migration in progress. Seems like you've been raping these noobs far too much. Okay, sorry about that, there was a host migration there. Okay, so my whole idea is that there needs to be a Slayer on your team, okay? And since I have fast reactions, like I said, and since I'm able to get the job done and get the kill streaks fast enough and high enough, then I see no problem in having a Slayer and having a person who's running around capturing these flags because this is how you play Domination, in my opinion, okay? How you play Domination is you need to cap the two flags to one flag advantage, okay? You need two to one flags. That's how you're going to win a Domination match. So, seeing as through this entire match we have had C and B pretty much, I see no real point in actually rushing up, getting B, switching the spawns, and making the spawns sporadic, because as everyone knows, the spawns in this game are pretty horrible at the moment anyway. So, pretty much my whole idea is to defend the C flag, defend the B flag, get my kill streaks, get my Osprey Gunner, and just spawn trap these guys. That's what you need to do in Domination. That way that they cannot capture any flag whatsoever. They'll have no chance to score. And I can get my killstreaks. I can get all my points up. So pretty much everyone wins in this situation. Now, I'm going to say that I there has to be a fine line. There has to be a balance, guys, okay? And the balance for me is that there cannot be a whole team of Slayers, which is a lot, a lot of Call of Duty commentators see. And you'll see that, you know, three people on a team could get a Moab, yet they will still lose the match because they haven't been playing objectively. The people that I'm with right now, they are all for the objective. We have triple capped these guys. We have got them in a spawn trap. This is what you need to do to destroy the enemy team and to win a domination match thoroughly. Okay, guys? This is the whole idea of domination. So you can spawn trap and you can get the three flag advantage or the two to one flag advantage, seeing how the enemy team goes. So I don't really see a problem with actually holding the 2 to 1 flag advantage and getting your kill streaks up and spawn trapping the enemy team guys. That is how I personally play domination and I when I play with people I say, you know what, we've got to spread this out, okay? We've got to have two people defending the two main flags, we've got to have two captures and we've got to have mainly two slayers. We can have two or one slayers, depends who wants to be what, but you sort of join together with your teammates and you collaborate on who's going to be what role. This match I was the slayer role, therefore I just destroy this enemy team, I spawn trap, and I don't see any problem with it. Like, you guys can see the score right now. It is 145 to 34. Now, I've been playing my role. My teammates have been playing their role. There's been no real problem. We've been able to do what we needed to do in this game. And look at that guy, FMG9 Akimbo. He was meant to be sniping, but you know what? He decided to pull out the pansy-ass weapons and try to rape me in the bum. Didn't happen, guys. Um... So that is primarily my thoughts on Domination. Now, a lot of other thoughts that people have is that you have to keep capturing. Capture, capture, capture is the whole idea of it. No, it isn't the whole idea of it. The whole idea is to beat the enemy team at no matter what, okay? No matter what cost, okay, guys? You have to beat the enemy team, and that's what I've been doing, okay? That's what I've been doing this match. You don't have to keep running around and capturing every single flag because, A, you'll switch the spawns, make it sporadic, and you'll lose your almighty KD that everyone cares about. Doesn't really matter, guys. Um, but 
that you'll make the spawn sporadic, it will actually induce rage onto you, and you really don't want that in a game. You want to play a game to have fun, not to induce rage and to, you know, get pissed off at. So, that's how I play, okay? This is how I play. I get the 2 to 1 flag advantage, sometimes I triple cap, and I primarily just keep going over their spawns, keep working my kill streaks, keep doing what I need to do so I can win. God damn it, guys, I'll be back in one second. Damn man, this is the second host migration. You're just a fucking beast. See, that's another thing. That's another problem. Sometimes when you are playing the Slayer role and you can destroy these guys, sometimes you get the host migration and it can be fairly annoying, but you guys know what, whatever. It doesn't really matter. We end up winning the match anyway with a demolishing score, so that's all that counts. So it is okay to be a Slayer, in my opinion, if you have the teammates to back you up. But anyway, guys, it has been Stick Sickly. I hope you guys have enjoyed this commentary and sort of tolerate and understand what the mindset of being a Slayer is in Domination now. So hopefully you guys can understand that. And in the comment section, below, please leave your opinions on this subject because it is fairly important and it can, riot, it can be a variety through any Call of Duty. So thank you guys for watching, hopefully I will see you guys in a commentary on my personal channel. To do that, go to the description, there will be a link there for my channel, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, all that sort of stuff, and you know, swing by my channel, have a look at what I can do, and I know that you guys won't be disappointed in what I can do. So I do a variety of games, I do Gotham City Imposters, nearly every Call of Duty, I do a lot of things. So thank you everyone for watching, and once again, thank you Thunder for allowing me to post. It has been Stick Sickly. I'll see you guys later on. Later, guys.